Hello everyone! It's been a while since I've made a video, all of a couple of hours, but anyways, uh, right now we're in the process of letting the game choke on a multi-core threaded uh, process, which helps them understand uh, how the game works better for us. Uh, it's just testing their systems. So it looks like it's choking to us, uh, and so that was actually what was causing my inability to load certain games. Um, it, it would seem like it was a crash. Well, we have since learned from that experience, and I'd like to say welcome back, everyone, to Elemental War of Magic Beta 3. All right, see how it seemed to have smoothed out a little bit now? Now that should be good enough for us to load. It took about 15, 20 seconds um, for everything to get it finished. So we're loading up our world, the phage. Uh, again, as with everything, you never know if you're going to get crashed upon while loading or uh, after hitting done or researching something, but that's neither here nor there. That's part of being in a beta. Um, let's see. There is our king, Kyrus, standing outside of the core city, Persephone. <laughs> core city. All right. We've also uh, been working on readjusting the land a little bit, taking a, uh, uh, a long-term view, um, and here's what the land looks like to us right now. If you remember, we started off with Serenity, and I was just about to start singing about, you know, land, take my something, take my, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'll not offend thee. Oh, look at that. Minor graphical glitch on the display for the city itself. Uh, it's not critical, but it is interesting. Now, here we actually have some of my children. They've actually kind of grown up here. Um, these are my daughters, Erin, Sisha, and Riasha. If you notice, they all are products of my childhood in the sense that they all are researchers that is absolutely fantastic this is you could almost ask for anything more for a, a father now of my children uh, the ones that seem to actually have any value is the ones that actually start with a higher hit point so I'd probably if I if I wasn't gonna keep her around for the research points I'd probably try to marry off Riasha because she's got low hit points overall compared to her sisters, Aaron and uh, Sisha. Aaron might be worthy of, you know, marrying off as well. So we can begin working on that, uh, enhancing the familial lines, as it were. All right, let's see, what uh, is where we're at here? Well, Serenity, sounds like it's choking to death for a second there. Uh, Serenity right now has food, enough food and housing to reach a level five city. We have a population growth of four. That's what prestige is used for, if you had no idea. Having a higher prestige increases your population growth. The buildings that are producing arcane knowledge, which by the way, if you notice, I'm sitting here at 13 of 13, because I haven't spent enough time working on my magic side, so that's uh, something I'm having to pay for now. Because um, I had learned all the spells that I had queued up, and there was nothing else to learn because I didn't, I haven't increased my spell point capacity yet. So it's it's all a matter of learning. Um, let's see, twelve Gildar per turn, sixteen research, which is great. Population is growing. I have no more tiles uh, to build out upon at this time, and uh, that's okay. Now, if you remember when we started. Serenity did not have a nice beachfront property. I've actually raised the land here. That's right, you have to use raised land to raise the edges so it turns into a beach. And and now you get to see the you know the water as it comes in on the shore. And uh, the people here at the market, the market's right next to, well, it seems to be partially underwater, but uh, you know what? More power to them. We like to let our people swim. And you can see we have a road that runs through the woods here. Uh, our borders have actually hit from city to city, so now we've increased our borders. Here's a caravan on the way to go pick up some resources. Here's the king and our people. Uh, let's see, just another side note. Here's his enchantments that he currently has going on. 
Brilliance. Which, by the way, tells me I can actually cast Brilliance on some of these other locations. Because I've apparently cast Enchant Production on all three towns. But I have not cast it on all three uh, cities yet. Of what I've got available to do, none of those are, are really good enough yet. Summon meadows or mushrooms. Um, I did beautify the land here at one point. Yeah, not really, you know, important. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to hit a couple turns um, and have the king actually raise the land here as well. Because I eventually want to have Persephone be able to expand here instead of a harbor. It's one of the few things that I've had uh, an issue with is I have not been able to add in any of these betas, if you've noticed, I've been able to actually set up a harbor and get ships out there. I think that needs to be something that is much easier to uh, happen. But that's all a matter of time. And let's see, one other thing before we go over there. Another graphical glitch on the display, but you can see it's card in the uh, bottom right hand corner there. And this is the uh, town where we actually have two shards in play. We have the air shard and the earth shard. So we uh, look forward to new spells that, you know, help us facilitate that role. Uh, as far as why don't I have a whole bunch of things queued up right now, to be honest with you, I want to see what else is going to be available before I start really working on expanding the, uh, the city. Besides, um, well, I do need to throw in a house, it looks like, but I thought I had enough. Uh, apparently, I did not. So I need to increase the housing just by a little bit more. And we will do that. Add. It says I can add it over in this area. So we will build the house closer to the gold. You know what? Who doesn't like working next to all that gold? You know, just the people who have to work there. Yeah. Anyways. Let's see. You have an apiary and Persephone. And... We'll hit, we'll uh, see what's next. Hold on.